Karen? Numbers, you guided in January, we've got yeah. a, a fall in revenue 2.1% on a reported sure. basis. What are you seeing in terms of that client activity? Well, our clients, our clients are cautious. I mean, CEOs uh, exude confidence on, on programs like this or uh, on channels like this. But when you start dealing with their, their operations, they continue to be cautious. The environment is the geopolitical issues. Uh, obviously, but generally the environment is one where caution, inflation obviously is coming down, so pricing power that we saw last year when the FMCGs, the fast moving consumer goods companies, priced up, their ad sales ratios were constant and they piled money into the platforms actually last year at the same time as the platforms were reducing their advertising and marketing spend. So what you saw is multiple expansion uh, and profitability expansion in the platforms. They were up last year by about 10%. Uh, the traditional advertising linear TV networks were under pressure last year. They were down about 10%. You had sports like Fox uh, or, or Disney. You, you buttressed your, your linear um, revenues, but generally they were around about 10% 10, 10 down. So you saw this bifurcation between digital and linear uh, in, in probably in the most pronounced way that we've seen for a long time. Martin, you're such a good gauge of the macro and I wonder what's leading what here because business has got so much to contend with. Mm -hmm. We're seeing that on a geopolitical side, we're seeing mm -hmm. it on an economic side, but typically in the past, some of it has occurred from the consumer, but the consumer has shown weakness because of high credit costs and uncertainty around job security. The consumer has traded down and then the, the big companies have then reacted. Is this time different because there's a more resilient consumer? We, we haven't seen that in the post-COVID world where, of course, governments pumped a lot of money into the economy to protect consumers, protect jobs uh, as people stay, stayed at home. The, the, that savings buffer now has evaporated and probably the rubber's hitting a bit more, it, it, hitting the road a bit more with consumers at this particular point in time. So we're starting to see a little bit of the stresses and strains on consumer spending. And I think that's making clients more, more cautious. Now, as interest rates come down, perhaps in the second half of the year. I think earlier there was some commentary from, from uh, Morgan Stanley about probably the rate cuts in America will come in the second half of the year. As that starts to impact the economy, maybe confidence uh, will start to return. Obviously, the results of the election, half the world's going to the, the polls this year, but more particularly the, the key one is in America. If uh, President Trump is returned, that's not necessarily bad for the, the U.S. economy. I mean, U.S. business probably favors, we've seen Ken Griffin at Citadel and others say publicly that it's probable that U.S. business favors Trump, low tax, low reg. So the, the, the economy probably will strengthen as we go, North American economy will strengthen. What it means for international relationships, Ukraine, the Middle East uh, uh, and, and Iran will have to see, but certainly the domestic U.S. economy probably will start to, to, to fire on all, more cylinders as we go into 2025. In the meantime, while this cautiousness persists, given the action of your share price down about 73% sure. over the past year, what can you do? What is within your power to be able to improve shareholder well, you, value? You see, we've made some management changes today mm -hmm. and some board changes there, and that's to get increased focus on the business. So clearly, we're, we're heavily tech orientated, about, still about 43% of our revenues, of our billion pounds of revenues or so come from tech companies. Uh, some people say, you know, is that the, the wisest thing to do? We think that is certainly the future and those tech companies will start to expand their advertising and marketing budgets as they contracted them last year as we go into the back end of 2024 and into 2025. So we see increasing confidence coming from them. So the, the, the question really is focusing on operational efficiency, which we did the last year uh, as we we took our headcounts down from about n just over 9,000 people to about 7,700 to make greater efficiency within the business. Are you confident you're